Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these few moments with our Good Shepherd. Our reading for today is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, reading verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able, according to the power that is at work within us, to do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Well, the Red Sea was on one side, and Pharaoh's army was approaching on the other. And the Israelites thought they were going to be annihilated. They had never seen God part the sea before, but God did. And they traveled through on dry land and were safe. When Jesus preached to a crowd of over 15,000 people, the disciples wondered where they were going to get food to feed the people. But Jesus blessed five loaves of bread and a couple of small fish, and everybody was stuffed to the gills, and twelve basketfuls of leftovers remained. Paul and Silas were in prison. Their feet were in the stocks, and they were locked in a cell in the deepest, darkest part of the prison. Escape seemed impossible, but God sent an earthquake opened the jail doors, made the stocks fall off their feet and hands, and Paul and Silas were rescued. Whenever I encounter a situation that looks hopeless, I remind myself that God is able to do more than I can even begin to imagine. And I can imagine some pretty amazing things. But as the verse from Ephesians tells us, that's the power that's working in our lives. That's the power that God shares with us as we turn to him in prayer and in trust. God is able to do far more than we can even begin to imagine. So whatever is going on in your life, make sure you tell God how big of a problem it is. But then don't forget to tell the problem how much bigger your God is. God was and still is a worker of miracles and expect to see that miracle in your life.